Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. I got something from a relatively newcomer here. And, um, well, definitely new to me. I don't know how long these guys have been around, but uh, Island Dog Brewing. They got a really nice logo. I actually first found these guys at the Bangor Best of the North Fest last year. Um, used to be called Bangor's Tap into Summer, um, outside brew fest, on the waterfront, in Bangor, Maine, all local breweries, well, local to the state anyway, um, under tents, oh, it's usually a beautiful day, I mean, even on the times that we, even on the, the years that it's been raining that day, being under the tent was still kept it decent and it was nice and warm so the light misting rain wasn't too bad it's always a good time uh they changed it up last year it used to be the tap of the summer now it's the best of the north fest they invite the wineries last year they did wings as well from a bunch of local places but this year apparently it's just beer wine and some spirits although i'm not getting my hopes up too much out of the uh, two distilleries i saw in last year's uh, program. One of them backed out, so all we had was tree spears. I, not to diminish their contribution. But anyway, I'm talking way too much about the festival. Um, if you're local, hope to see you there in Bangor on June 22nd this year, Best of the North Fest, for beer, wine, and right now three distilleries are signed up. Like I said, last year those distilleries dropped off until we just had tree spirits, which did bring their absinthe, which was awesome, as well as some of their wines. <clears throat> but, hope to see you there. Hope to see all three of those distilleries that are signed up. Their names escape me there. Local main breweries at Best of the North Fest. Um, no national breweries are really invited. So, as I was saying, last year we discovered Island Dog Brewing there. They had several beers and they were all quite good as I recall but now they're starting to can they showed up in uh, local beer store Damon's they have several locations throughout the state check them out um, but this is their this is Island Dog Brewing's Iron Bison it's an unfiltered milk stout I mean come on the, the name <laughs> and the uh, picture there Steamwork bison kind of caught my attention more than anything else. I mean, iron bison, you imagine something that's got some pretty damn big balls behind it. Um, so, Island Dog Brewing, their tap room is in South Portland. I'm not 100% sure if that's also where the brewery itself is. I seem to recall them being actually on an island, but I could be completely wrong about that. Well, their tap room is in South Portland, Maine. Check them out if you get a chance, because like I said, those brews we had at the fest were awesome. New house, as you can tell by the setting. We have unpacked a lot of stuff, and I managed to find the bigger perfect pint glass. Now, this 16-ounce can isn't quite going to fill what I believe is a 22-ounce glass, but... At least I don't have to worry about the overpour and having to drink up some of the 12 ounce perfect pint glass and then re pour. So, I am assuming that these guys are using the same mobile canning operation that a lot of places in Maine are, which is not a bad thing. It gets their product to the market. And it's a lot less expensive for the brewery than in setting up a bottling operation or even a canning operation of their own. I only say that I think they're using the mobile canning because these cans look very similar to what I've seen from that same group with the same type of label. Completely different artwork, obviously, but the same style label in terms of dimensions and the way it's wrapped around the can. Now, this operation basically drives around from brewery to brewery, and they pull up with a whole, whole automated system that they just unpack, can up the beer, and then they move on to the next brewery. It's awesome. It's a great business model for these guys because they tapped into a niche market. Lots of breweries find it cheaper to can their beers than to bottle it, 
And with this, they don't have to invest in the equipment. They just pay somebody else to do it for them. And these guys are just traveling all over the state collecting paychecks for canning beer. Okay. I have talked way too much about everything but this fucking beer, haven't I? I apologize. I might be a couple of beers in right now. But <clears throat> I just guess maybe that's just some flavor or perspective on the state of the brewing industry here in Maine. But let's talk about this brew dog beer. I mean, <laughs> there is no light getting through there. Even in the, the thinner parts of the glass, there is no light coming through that. That is an extremely dark, dark stout. The head has a bit of a brown tinge to it. I don't think it's very effervescent. I'm not seeing bubbles coming up along the side of the glass. <clears throat> and the head is not replenishing itself. I might have not done a great job of pouring that out and putting one on there. But what is there is nice and thick. Little itty bitty bubbles, but lots of them. It's a good looking beer. Is it possible for a beer to have a creamy aroma? Maybe. Um, it is a milk stout. Unfiltered milk stout. And I'm, I'm actually getting a bit of a dairy aroma off of it. It's, it's odd. I don't know if I've ever experienced that with a beer before. I'm not getting any roasty or chocolatey or toffee, none of those uh, sweet notes, but I'm also not getting anything smoky or roasty either, which I would expect from a stout. I'm just getting a creamy aroma, <laughs> almost like a dairy aroma. This is very odd. It could be neutral, and I'm just making up the dairy thing because my brain is functioning really weird tonight apparently but Ooh. oh there it is if I get way down in there I am getting some roasty and maybe chocolatey notes okay all right enough about that here we go It's actually got a lighter mouthfeel than I expected, given the appearance. It's got this nice medium-heavy mouthfeel, um, which means it drinks smoothly. Up front, I'm getting some roasty chocolatey notes. That's extremely smooth, by the way. And it fades to a bit of smokiness. Yep, roasty and chocolatey up front. Bit of smokiness in the finish. It's very smooth. Yeah, it's got that medium heavy mouthfeel, like I said, it's lighter than I expected. Um, hmm. It's a good solid beer, a nice milk stout, with all the characteristics I'd want from any kind of stout. And nothing crazy or different that stands out, nothing very, nothing really unique about it. But again, it's it's a solid, well put together beer. It is what I would want from a milk stout, and I'm enjoying it. It's definitely drinking easy. Look at that, disappearing fast. Um, It's not getting anything crazy or off the wall or different about it to distinguish it from the field. 
And so I'm going to hit this one with a 3.5 out of 5. Now bear in mind on a scale of 1 to 5, a 2.5 is average. So a 3.5 is a pretty damn good score. Um, I know I say that every time, like I have to justify the score. It's, that's just it. I just don't want anybody to misunderstand and think that I'm giving a good local craft beer a lower rating than it deserves. But in my mind, a two and a half is average, which means that a lot of these local craft beers that are really well put together get that three and a half rating because they're not distinct or different enough to push them up for me. Ooh, pardon, but they're definitely not some run-of-the-mill average beer either. So like I said, three and a half Pretty solid above average rating for this beer. Oh, but that's just my opinion. Um, hit me up down in the comments and the email link down below. Love to hear what you have to say about Island Dog Brewing's Iron Bison. Whether you agree or disagree with my assessment, either way, let's talk about it. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, folks. Again, I hope to see Island Dog Brewing at this year's Best of the North Fest. I believe they have signed up. Looking forward to trying something new from them. Because all their beers have been solid so far. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. That's dangerously smooth. That's going to be gone in way less time than it should be. <laughs>